Do I lead with the product or do I lead with the opportunity? The age old question, what's better? That's the topic today. This is the 365 Days of Multi-Level Marketing Journey to Freedom Podcast with Rome Batchelor, where Rome shares his daily journey from down and out to total financial freedom in one year, along with pro tips, tricks, strategies, and tools to help you join in on the journey. Now, here's Rome with today's Journey to Financial Freedom Podcast. Is it legal and ethical? In essence, does it have integrity? Does it work? And do you feel great about it? That is the answer. Do you lead with the product? Do you lead with the opportunity? The truth is there's millions of examples of success at all levels in this wonderful profession throughout the decades of network marketing of people that have succeeded leading with the product and of people that have succeeded leading with the opportunity. There's a third option, which is the one I personally like, which is how about lead with both? How about lead with both? Because I don't know what the prospect is going to respond to. I have recruited people that had no passion for the product on day one. They just want to know that it was something real that, you know, that they could sleep at night sharing and they just want to make, make me some money. I just need to make some money. I don't care. Just make me some money and I hope it helps somebody. There are people that are at that level and will get in and when they experience the product themselves and when people have experienced the product that they shared with that have thanked them then all of a sudden they can get a heartfelt connection to the product and then get a product passion. I don't want to eliminate those people because I'm trying to force feed the product down their throat. On the flip side though, there are a lot of people out there that will come in because of the product, fall in love with the product, begin to share the product, get a check, get a growing income from the product and get a business passion on the back end. I don't want to lose any of those people. So what I like to do is I lead with either product and in a close proximity of time, sometimes seconds, sometimes hours, sometimes days, I bring in the opportunity. Then there are those who I would lead with the opportunity and in a very close proximity of time, usually moments, sometimes minutes, sometimes hours, sometimes days, I bring up and you know, vice versa. So I lead with both and whatever they tend to respond to most, that's what I emphasize most. Not to ignore the product or the opportunity, but to emphasize the thing that they respond to most. And in many cases, people respond to both, depending on what your product and your opportunities, you know, opportunity is. But I don't want to alienate any so that's my emphasis, but we spend so much time on this podcast talking about team building techniques, building and prospecting a team with opportunity sort of lingo that, and, and part of that's on purpose because I don't know your product. I have to talk from a generic sense, but also because I believe that the greatest potential in this profession is building a team because that's where you leverage the other people's efforts and that's the most potential uh, getting paid a little bit off the efforts of a lot of people can get you the highest potential income also it brings you the most security because if you're just customer based and something happens to your ability to produce your income stops growing and slowly will diminish and therefore what have you left to your family a limited income so the greatest um, benefit of this profession I believe is the leverage of the efforts of many versus yourself. However, there are those that want the benefits of this profession to, to, to almost the full potential, but not quite, without stepping up into leadership. And they need some income. And maybe 
they just have a passion for the product and not really for the opportunity. Do you want to alienate those people? No, you want to feed those people. You want to celebrate those people just like you do those that jump into leadership because success is defined by each person, not by you. You don't want to celebrate people that just go for your goal level. You want to celebrate those that want to make an extra 200 a month and pay for their product and maybe put $50 a month in a mutual fund so, and they make 200 a month and that's their success. You celebrate that just like somebody that's trying to make 10 or 50,000 a month and they hit that goal. You celebrate that because it's a victory for that person. Uh, it, it, success is an individual thing and you as the upline, you as the coach, you as the leader need to celebrate each person because quite often when people hit one goal, human nature is to stretch to the next goal. People will expand and grow into it, especially if you're recommending the right resources and you're getting people around the campfire. The dreams of others will tend to rub off. The dreams of others will tend to rub off. But you celebrate people where they're at and make them feel good where they're at and you'll have better retention and people will grow into it. That is a major pro tip right there. But for those that want to lead with the product and make an immediate income, I know of no better resource than a book. And all the, my decades and, and, and all the books I've read and all the speakers I've listened to throughout the years, there's none better in this topic than a book called If My Product's So Great, How Come I Can't Sell It? It's called If My Product's So Great, How Come I Can't Sell It? It's by Kim Claver. And Claver starts with a K. And I've been following Kim for over 15 years now. I read her book. One of the wonderful things about this book is she, help, she helps you formulate a game plan and a goal of getting 100 customers in 100 days. 100 new customers for just you, not your team, you in 100 days. And she talks about how to think, you know, what kind of potential income that will be for you immediately, like in 100 days. For some people, that's how to retire in 100 days. And then you can build even further from there. So, I'm, you know, if you're needing that extra, that really fast 1,000 a month or 500 a month or 2,000 a month or 3,000 a month, I know of no better predictable way then go through Kim's book and take it seriously she helps you formulate one of the benefits is the perfect pitch the perfect message the perfect script so to speak for you that you can get a heartfelt connection to and she teaches you how to target and find people that have the same um, that, that your script will be the perfect message for so that you have an ultimate great response and how to not get so much rejection, but how to get very good uh, receiving ears and eyes, so to speak, and how to get referrals better than none I've ever heard. So I guess the only resource I can recommend for getting referrals that's even to this level at all is, is, is Robert Hollis's Million Dollar Question. So if you're opportunity-minded, Robert Hollis's Million Dollar Question is a great way to get referrals. You can Google it. But if you're product-oriented, there's nothing better than Kim Claver's process. She has um, quite a bit of other resources. She's got some courses. Uh, she's got some classes that you can plug into. Just Google Kim. She has a podcast. She's on Facebook. Uh, I'm beginning to consider to consider her a friend now. We've been dialoguing. She likes to ask a lot of great thought-provoking questions from time to time on Facebook to get people, and then she'll give some feedback and help people think. But she, she has brought a class and integrity uh, to uh, this profession, similar to that of uh, Tom Schreider, Big Al, has an integrity uh, and a way of approaching things that is low rejection and is common sense wisdom that also raises the um, uh, respectability of this profession like no one else other than maybe Tom Schreider that I know of. And so uh, with that, that's my endorsement. That's the podcast of today. I highly encourage you to get Kim's book, plug into Kim's materials. And for those that want to build customers and and, and let that lead into an organization over time, uh, it actually can happen pretty fast. I won't, I won't explain what's in the book already, but it really does a fantastic job of giving you a total personal system to build 
your business, and then a team will result on the back end uh, from there. That's today's podcast. I think we answered the question and brought you another uh, tool or a book that will change your business. And for even if it's not for you, it's worth getting so you're aware of, so that when you bring in someone that's looking for a product-oriented process, there's no better than this, I promise you. With that, that's today's Journey to Freedom podcast, and I hope I see you on the backside on the beach or on a a great trip somewhere on a cruise or at some convention. I just encourage you to join me in the journey. Thank you for sharing today's 365 Days of MLM to Freedom podcast. And remember to email your questions and comments directly to Rome at 365 days of MLM at gmail.com. And until next time, we want to encourage you to join in on the journey.